What's up, everybody? Tech Talking Ginger here. We're going to talk some Elden Ring news today, you guys. And, I mean, who isn't excited for some Elden Ring? So, there was a poll, and uh, I'm going to pop it up on the screen here. And this was the results. It was a poll for what Elden Ring starring class everybody was going to want to start out as. And I guess everybody wants to start out as a samurai? I'm kind of curious what you guys all watching this wanted to start out as uh, for your main class. And I may even, if you subscribe, uh, I may even have a poll on YouTube here just for everybody to pick. I I'm kind of curious what everybody would pick. I, I didn't see Samurai being the main one everyone would pick. I figured it was going to be popular, but I didn't think it was going to kind of run away with it, almost. Um, obviously, there's only two, 3,000 people, so um, by the time I get this up, it may be more. Hopefully it ain't changed from Samurai by then. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, guess Samurai's the class everybody wants to use. Speaking of Elden Ring, um, the market boss during a network test ended up being super freaking difficult, I guess. And because of this, they have rebalanced the boss so that way it doesn't just whoop everybody's ass. Um, I guess there are bosses intentionally made super difficult. This one was not intentionally meant to be that difficult, I guess, um, for, you know, options. You don't have to go and beat these bosses to complete the game. It's if you just want to go get beat up for fun, pretty much, and see if you're really that good at the game and how talented you are. And then there's also other little hidden treasures that have been kind of more difficult to find that they have placed around. Um, pretty much in the article, it seems like they're less worried about map size. Don't get me wrong, the map is still pretty large, but they want a reason to go explore all of the map. It isn't so much just make the map huge for the sake of it. <coughs> Assassin's Creed. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the case with Elden Ring. It's going to be an exciting game. I, I think more people are going to be excited for this game than, than uh, anyone thought. I did a poll with the subscribers to see what they thought would be the game of the year, uh, 2022, and everybody thinks it's going to be God of War. I think it might be Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring could possibly take game of the year. That's that's my hot take. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm excited for, uh, for, for many games, especially God of War, but I just think Elden Ring is going to be a really refreshing game, 2022. So there were some NVIDIA leaks, and uh, everybody's thinking Final Fantasy IX um, Remake and Final Fantasy Tactics Remastered, and, well, NVIDIA's credibility has apparently been getting higher and higher with uh, lots of games that have been leaked and are actually coming. And then Square Enix, you know, remaking Chrono Cross. I mean, they are obviously remaking and remastering lots of things, so is it far-fetched for there to be a remastered Tactics and a remake of Final Fantasy IX. I mean, it really could could be a thing that happens. So I would be on the lookout for that because, yeah, it seems like it could actually happen, guys. It seems like it could actually happen. I'd be pumped to see a Final Fantasy IX. I love Tactics. Don't get me wrong, but you can get you can get other Tactics games that are pretty good. Um, you know, Square Enix banging out the storyline as always. You know, Tactics is fantastic, but I really would love to see a 9 just remake. Um, same storyline, but just ground up, beautiful, kind of like they did 7. I would love to see what they did for 7, done for 9. All right, VR news, you guys. The Quest 2 is now 46% of all Steam users. Um, yeah, that's not really shocking. If you're Steam VR, um, probably probably the Quest 2. Um, it just is what it is, you guys. It's just one of the best VR headsets you can get, and I don't think many people would argue that. I mean, there's headsets that are as good, but not as, as portable, as handy, as easy, no cords, charge, just work, pop it on, you're in VR, you're going. Um, it is not complicated, and, and it can just all be done wirelessly and very well. I just think that the Quest 2 is amazing, and I think that when the new Quest comes out, it's gonna you're going to see even more. You're, you're eventually going to see it being like 70% of Steam VR is going to be the, the Quest, um, whether it be, be a new one um, or, or a whole new name other than the Quest line. I, I, could, I don't see them leaving the Quest name and line, but I'm just saying, I, I see like three years down the line and you're going to be 70% 70, 70 of VR is going to be, uh, Steam VR is going to be the Quest. It's that good. 
don't get me wrong, I think competition needs to be out there, but I, I believe they're just trying to get VR in everybody's hands for sure. I'm not saying this is for the most honest and caring and uh, wholesome of reasons. You know, Meta, Facebook, whatever you want to call them, isn't exactly some uh, person fighting in your corner, you guys. But they definitely want to get VR in everybody's hands cheap. And that's not a bad thing, in my opinion, because virtual reality is... It's, it's a game changer. It's, it's some of the funnest gaming I've done in a long time. And if you haven't tried a Quest 2, you really should. If you haven't tried VR, you really should. So Nintendo hacker Gary Bowser, isn't that a sweet name? <laughs> well, he is going to be doing 40 months in prison, federal prison. Um, he helped make a lot of hacks and ROMs and, and stuff for uh, the Switch and other consoles. He's pretty much been a proponent for um, playing games illegally. Um, and you may wonder how they make money off of this. Well, it's, it's, it's hardware that goes to your Switch, among other things. And, and they just... Uh, it was him and some co-conspirators, or whatever you want to call them, co-hackers. He wasn't the big... The, there was three of them. Um, they can't find one of them. I don't think they can find either of the other two. Or they just can't extradite one, and they can't find the other. Um... Bottom line, yeah, he's going to be the scapegoat. He's the one that's going to take the whole hit right now, and they're going to make an example out of him. So, you know, this, this has never happened before. This is, this is crazy. There's been lots of um, stuff that has messed up the gaming industry and caused major loss of money. Nintendo lost a lot of money in this, uh, according to the report. And, uh, well, I guess pretty much he's the one they're making an example out of because they've never done anything like this. And it doesn't seem like the most severe sentence, I, I guess, but it really kind of is for what it is. I mean, they're, they're making him pay back a very large sum of money. Um, and then they, <laughs> they're um, making him spend a long time in federal prison, which has never been done before, you guys. So hopefully this sends a message, don't fuck with Nintendo. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, it's pretty interesting. I, I think that's crazy. I, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And to cap off game news, you guys, um, apparently Microsoft, uh, Xbox wants Call of Duty on the Switch. They want it everywhere. They want it PlayStation. They want it Switch. They want it there. I mean, they want it everywhere. Who knows? Maybe Stadia will get it. Um, but yeah, for real, I guess they really want to see Switch get Call of Duty. I don't know how they would really pull that off. I don't know if the hardware on the Switch could really handle something like uh, one of the newer Call of Duties, maybe some older ones. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, and I could see them wanting to cash in on that. So, hey, maybe this is good news. I know they're saying Sony's going to get to keep Call of Duty pretty much forever, no problem. But um, they also have said that you'd never have to upgrade again and you'd be on Windows 10 and there wouldn't be another Windows. And here we are with Windows 11, you guys. So can you believe everything Microsoft says? But yeah, hey, if you're a Switch owner and you want to play Call of Duty handheld on the go, um, could be good news for you. Don't get your hopes up for being one of the super new Call of Duties, but you could be playing Call of Duty on the Switch soon, you guys. Cap off game news, you guys, and I will see you in tech news, and also I will see you in an iPhone 13 Pro review, and I will also see you in a 2017 MacBook Air review. These are all going to be coming out soon, and there should be already a... Uh, gaming chair review of the Secret Lab Omega 2020 that will be out already before this. So hopefully you've watched that, and if you haven't, hopefully you go back and watch it. It is a good video, and this is a banging chair. But um, until next time, you guys, also make sure to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, make sure to check out all my other social medias, and uh, enjoy your night, your day, or whenever you're watching this. Later.